Thanks so much for tuning in to Dub World. Today we were talking about a new product to help you with the wiring of your car. If you've done any type of wiring before in the past, you chances are you've probably had to uh, repair a wire, add gauges, anything like that, and you've used these things, which are called butt connectors. These are crimp-on connectors that are used to make repairs to wiring harnesses. And as you can see here with this tool, it's color-coded to the different sizes. So most commonly used in automotive are the red and the blue. These are the smallest of the wiring connectors. Also have the yellow ones in here as well. And those are for the larger wires. But chances are you're probably not going to really use them very often. But this is what I've typically used throughout the years. Until recently, I was needing to do a repair inside the door jam of a Volkswagen and there really wasn't a lot of space for this type of connector. And doing a search, I found something new and I wanted to share that with you today. I don't have any sponsorships, anything like that on this channel. So this is just me telling you something that I like and uh, that you should try. If you do any electrical work on your car, you're gonna need connectors. And I went online and I found these here. So this is one of them, camera focuses. And what these are, are waterproof solder wiring connectors. So these connectors are heat shrink tubing with solder in the middle. And when you connect your wires together, you heat it up, the solder runs out, solders the wires together and makes what they call a waterproof connection and I was very impressed with how they worked so I'm going to show you here I'm doing a radio wiring harness install not on a Volkswagen so I'm not shooting a video on it but I started to do this harness here and I figured might as well show you guys what I'm doing you can see these connectors. The things that I like about them is that there's still flexibility in here because the only part that has the solder is right in the middle, right there. Not sure if you can see this on camera, the solder, how it's run out. But I just wanted to show you how this works. Got a little heat gun tool here. Um, this one I purchased a few years ago. It's really nice, it's small, it's handy. Um, I would recommend this. I used to use a little mini torch, but obviously this uh, indirect heat is a lot better than using a flame. So I've got one of the small connectors here for the wires. And simply put, there's not much you have to do. Um, I would say normally I'd probably trim these to the same size, but you just slip the connector over what I do is just kind of meld the wires together a little bit so they intermesh with each other like that and I slide this in try to get the spot where the solder is right in the middle of those two wires take the heat gun Usually kind of start at the edges, get those edges going. So it holds it together and then just heat it in the middle. When it gets hot enough, that solder just runs out like it did there. And I go over the edges again just to make sure everything's nice and tight. That's it. You can see it here. See where the solder runs out. So that's all you have to do. And then you have a nice tight connection. And if you need to take these apart, um, you can heat it up again and pull the wires apart. It's no problem. But it's really a great product. Um, you know, this is the brand that I'm using, but there's plenty of them out there. I bought these through Amazon. But it's really a helpful thing if you're having to do any splicing on a wiring harness in a car. 
Again, these are supposed to be waterproof. I've used them a few times, really like the product so far. I haven't had any complaints about it at all. Easy to use, um, seems to be quality, it's held together. Um, I probably first used these about three years ago and the repairs I've done are still going strong in the door that I fixed. But that's it. I just wanted to share that with you today. I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in to Dub World.